Hi guys, welcome back to another FST video. I am on the version 14.1.4, latest version of FST. In my last video, I had showed you guys different uh, settings on the FST, like different profiles, and like a common comment that I've seen in the last video was like FST was going over the speed limit. So today I decided to, you know, show you. Uh, we'll just drive on one mode, which is gonna be chill mode. And we'll see if we go over the speed limit now if i go and like check my settings if i go in my autopilot settings i am at zero percent offset now in the past when i was using the ver version 13.2.9 this used to be 15 to 20 percent and that worked best for that uh, particular version but uh, i'm leaving it at zero percent and we'll play around with the profiles the speed profile and see how this thing is going to perform so speed limit is 40 here i'm on the chill mode and let's see how much over the speed limit this thing is going to go so, so far it's going under the speed limit as you can see speed limit is 40 we are going at 40 now 41 One observation that I have so far on this version, uh, the braking is a little bit uh, not natural, I would say, in some cases. I haven't like uh, observed that a lot, but uh, two or three drives which I had uh, on without the camera, I have noticed a little bit of a, you know, abrupt kind of braking. So I don't know if it was one-off kind of thing. So we'll keep an eye on that and see how that plays out. By the way, if you are new here, I try to make videos about FST in general and technology related items as well. So check some of the content on the channel. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and provide me with your feedback in the comment section below. I'm also active on Instagram. My Instagram profile is also linked in my YouTube, right? So you can uh, check that out. So far, so good. FST is not having any problems at all so one more thing that we're gonna do here I'm gonna go to this setting and yeah it's already at the parking lot so when we go to our destination it's gonna park at the parking lot so that's something new which came up I'm still trying to figure out like if there's a way to do it from the scroll wheel here but uh, I think you have to go on the screen and select the parking preferences so in the past uh, let me see uh, so this left right or up and down still changing the profile it's not doing anything else i know you can customize a few things on this side but um, i will play around with that probably in my next video so far we will just keep it on the chill mode and observe the speed limits that everybody was complaining about So moderate to light traffic today I will be making a video on the highway as well so stay tuned for that this video by the way is not gonna touch the highway today so I'm gonna keep on driving on these kind of roads and uh, with these kind of you know traffic and scenarios too so so far so good like on the chill mode it's kind of staying around the speed limit not going up or down a lot okay we are approaching a stoplight let's see if the light is gonna turn amber not in this case so it's fine I just wanted to see if it's gonna abruptly stop when the light turn orange or not and one more thing that I've noticed let me try it again like if I try to hit this menu self-driving which is showing chill now if I click this value uh, this menu um, and play around with any of these settings or even if I do it from here let's say if I pick slot all of a sudden I see the car is slowing down so you, you will definitely notice that. Let me just go back to chill since we are going to be driving the whole way on that. So 
I think uh, speed limit wise chill mode is still fine for you know urban kind of roads where you have this kind of traffic still have to test it on the highway so I will be doing that either t tomorrow or day after tomorrow so we'll be documenting and recording that work as well so but guys like it's amazing even version 13.2.9 I have been using it every day. I had no issues. Car would uh, drive me every day, everywhere where I wanted to go. So it's very convenient. I I do have another car too, and literally uh, I don't want to uh, drive that car that much because you know this is like an alien tech. I love full self driving. I think all the cars should have this technology. All the brands should introduce this uh, technology because you know, especially when you're tired. And you have a long commute after work and you don't have energy to drive this is the way to go so i i really thank uh tesla's fsd team they have done a great job with the previous version especially the version 13 was amazing um when it comes to 13.219 and this one version 14.1.4 so far you know i'm really liking it there are visible improvements Sometimes you miss something, but FSD will catch it. Like, you know, there was a scenario when a person was uh, trying to cross the road and I didn't see them. There were bushes around on the left side, but they were trying to cross the road and I was like, the car braked for some reason. I, I thought like it was phantom braking, but no, it was a person trying to cross the road. So uh, the more I use this technology, the more and more trust is building up in this new version as well so you know uh, tesla really have came a long way with this technology let me know what do you guys think about fsd in general and do you guys use it a lot in your daily drive turn the heat off So there was supposed to be some kind of uh, pothole detection on the FSD around this this update but so far I am not like seeing anything like you know you I don't know if you can see it on the camera but there are like you know some uneven portions of this road it's still going over, over these and not caring for any potholes or any any kind of you know uneven surfaces on the road which may impact our tire so i don't think there is a pothole detection there might be some light version like when you have a big kind of uh, obstacle on the road it may just detect that but i don't think it's ready to detect potholes yet so which is something i am always worried about because i have the 21 inch wheels with a very low profile tire and you know if the car hits a pothole not only is going to destroy your tires it's also going to damage the rims as well so that's something i'm always looking forward to whenever there's the fst update whether they have included it or not if you look at the release notes for this upgrade uh it does talk about some of that let me just pull that up software release notes yeah so it does say that improved offsetting for road debris example tire tree branches and boxes but i think it's just detecting the bigger items not like something around potholes maybe it'll come in the future at some point uh it's not there yet oh i just accidentally activated my wipers And probably if you are following this channel for a long time and you are wondering I have a new yoke so yes I am one of those customers my yoke started peeling off just from the side left side here I put in the ticket and Tesla came in and gave me the new yoke which is coming with 2026 plaids as well so I have a camera option here now and this is uh, an actual horn now so you know uh, something that you know I'm re I'm really appreciating that's not just change it without any questions asked 
since we also haven't talked about the tire situation for a long time i am on the second set of my tires so the first set of my tires lasted exactly 14,000 miles and now i'm at 22,000 miles so uh with the new tires uh right around 4,000 miles into the new tires i did install the shims on my uh, rear suspension i did it myself and then got the car aligned so let's see how long the tires are gonna last now my front tires were kind of fine but my rear tires at the inner uh wear was completely you know like <laughs> visible and like i had no option but to change the tires so the front tire one of them got a nail and then the other one had the foam separation so i ended up changing all four tires so at this point my new tires are around like six thousand miles or so but yeah so i think that was a question some of you guys asked me over the years like you know uh to make videos about the tire wear situation um so yeah the first set of tire on the stock suspension everything on 21 inch wheels and staggered setup lasted me around 21 uh sorry lasted me around 14,000 something miles and yes i did drive hard i did uh you know <laughs> took the car to tracks and stuff too uh, uh not like frequently but yes i did drive hard i did a lot of launches and stuff which you can expect uh from any new plaid owner right uh so now i'm taking a little bit of uh you know step back and trying to make sure that at least this these tires last me for a long time so in, in installing the shims may help we'll see so there's visible glare and the car literally slowed down a little bit not like a, you know abruptly but i did feel it uh, but if you have noticed the whole way we have been driving within the speed limit i i don't know i just changed it for some reason oh, like this was abrupt braking again so in the past versions like this was gone completely but uh there was a car on the right side um you may have to rewind the video I was trying to come on this road but it was still staying there i don't know why the car braked a little so something to still keep an eye on um when you're using the fsd this uh was not there in the previous version it was completely gone but uh this kind of abrupt braking it's not gonna com come to a complete stop but like it just slows down for a second or so and uh hit the brake so i will be keeping an eye out on that we are still on the chill mode i accidentally uh changed it to slot mode for a second um i think when i was pressing the wipers but it's back to chill mode and on the chill mode at least we understand that speed limits are being followed there's no problem with that so no issues still feeling very natural just like the version 13.2.9 uh, other than like the brake that occurred a few times today two or three times it didn't completely come to a stop for no reason but um, you know it was just like enough to make you feel that the car is braking all of a sudden right so i will keep an eye out on that and let me know uh, guys in the comment section too if you guys are experiencing that as well by the way this is a hardware for model s plaid i want to make sure that you guys understand that this is on the newer hardware so it should be working optimally when it comes to fsd i still haven't got that tron update some of you got that on model s and it looks sick especially on model s because everything here will be tron themed they really need to like uh, put more graphics here uh, on this dash i think they they have capability they should basically design a better interface like I, I i'm missing like the dial and stuff you know so the dial appears when you come to the track mode and uh it looks good but when you're normally driving there are no dials it's just pretty much like this kind of display 
uh, as compared to like BMWs or other cars like you know that there, there are a lot of colorful information and looks good too but um, Tesla is still sticking with this so I think that there is an opportunity for them to improve on their interface but when it comes to technology I'm telling you like there's nothing comparable so this thing is now looking for a parking and let's see where it's gonna park by the way I don't have to go to Lowe's I just came here for the sake of making this video okay it's trying to park here here we go just like the last video the car parked by itself <laughs> and we are here so let me know guys what you guys think of today's video at least we learned that if you keep the car on chill mode it'll follow the traffic uh, signal and the speed limits so that's very important some of you questioned that so I was like let me just test that today and uh, when we take the car to the highway we'll be testing more stuff as well thanks for watching guys if you're new here please consider subscribing Pro please provide your feedback in the comment section down below I'm gonna talk to you guys in the next video